and there is a Vox horse and cart. New Vox horse and cart. It does look nice, doesn't it? Absolutely fantastic. Here we go, back again with another video, yes. I wasn't going to make a video, no I wasn't, I was not going to make a video but then somebody at work gave me a gift today and as you've just seen there, that is going to be the sculpture, that is going to be, that is the sculpture celebrating a once common sight in Sunderland, the brewery, yes the Vaux Brewery's Dre Horses. The sculpture is called Gan Canny and it commemorates the Vaux Brewery that been opened 162 years till its closure back in 1999. Why am I talking about this? This is because a good friend of mine and work colleague at work give me these today. Roker Raw Premium Lager from the Vaux Brewery. From the Vaux Brewery, right? Now, I've looked into this because I was, he said, he says, open one of these on your, on your, on your video, your next video, have a drink and tell us what it tastes like, okay? But, I've looked into this, right? Apparently, bottled beer or lager lasts apparently eight to six months and then it steadily goes flat. You won't become ill of it, so I've read, I might be wrong, but it will, be, it will end up being probably disgusting, it'll probably go flat steel you know so after eight to eight six to eight months onwards it'll be no good so imagine what it tastes like when it's 25 years old yes you've heard that these two bottles of beer have been in somebody's garage since 1996 and you know why they made these this is why they made them a lager specially brewed in april 1996 by vox the official club sponsor of SAFC to mark the team's promotion to the Premier League under Peter Reid. Remember the season before Peter Reid came in and saved Sunderland from relegation. And then the next season they won the old first division which is now the championship and they got promoted to the Premier League with Bob Murray as the chairman. Now that season as it went on who was the top goal scorer? I'll tell you at the end of the video. But... They had 46 games, they won 22, they drawn 17, they lost only 7, plus 26 goal scoring records, scored 59 goals, led in 33. Top goal scorer was only 14 goals, including competitions, 13 goals in the first division. So not very massive amounts of goals were scored there, but the defence was better. Now, the question is, what do I do with the raw raw lager? It's 5% volume. Do I open it up and take a drink? Now, I, I said to Andrew Shipley, yes, the shipmeister himself, who give me these. Now, if I have a drink of one of these, I may need a week off work because I might not be very well the next day. Will I not? Is it worth opening one of these? And will I just physically be sick, repulsed straight away and just puke everywhere and be bad for two or three days? Will I actually die of drinking a bottle that's 25 years of age? Never happened before, never did it before. I don't even know what it'd be like. Should it? Is it worth opening it? Are these actually worth a lot of money? Are these worth some value? Are they worth raffling off? Say maybe something like the, um, you know, uh, like the Bradley Lowry Foundation. Raffle these off with anybody? Would anybody want to buy them? What? I want your advice. I want your advice. Yes, you out there, you. And you. What's your advice? Do I take a sip when we beat Burton tomorrow night? Come in. Just, just there. a happy, happy night. Celebrate Burton's by drinking a bottle that's 25 years of age. Or is it, is it, is it pretty no, a no-go, a no-go no area? Would it be okay with a bit of lemonade? Might make it a bit taste better with a bit of lemonade. But yes, I mean, I know I'm not, I'm not the brightest. I'm not the brightest spark out there. I'm not the cleverest fish in the in in, in the bowl. But I want your advice. Can I drink that? Will it be bad? Or is it worth some money? Is it worth raffling off? You know, I mean, people see out there, people out there might not think I would drink it, but you know, I'm not a full shilling, I'm not even 12 pennies, but also I was given today is this, a Sunderland mug that again commemorates the opening of the Stadium of Light and look inside there, little black kitty cat, little black kitty cat. On the back it reads as such, 
Sunderland Stadium of Light open Wednesday the 30th of July 1997. Sunderland nil, Ajax nil. First league game in Division 1. Of course it was a Friday night, remember it really well. 15th of August 1997. Sunderland 3, Manchester City 1. Jordi Kilclancy scored for them. I forget where he came from. What was his country? What was he, Georgian? Russian? I'm not quite sure. Might have been Ukraine, I don't know. And Niall Quinn, Kevin Phillips and Lee Clark scored for Sunderland. Officially opened in the new stadium, His Royal Highness the Duke of York on Monday the 10th of November 1997. It is the largest new stadium to be built in the UK since the end of World War II, a capacity of 41,600. That's what it was when it first opened. Is that worth raffling it off? So there's two things I wanted to ask about. What should I do with Ken? But, <clears throat> yes, other news. Bailey Wright came out today. Bailey Wright has come out today and said, Alex Neal wants Sunderland to play a high press from the back, a high back line. That's one of the reasons why we let two goals in against MK Dons, because we were really high on the back line. The defence centre-backs were really high. But that's what Alex wants to do. That's what he wants them to get used to doing. It will get better in time. And also, we haven't won in five games. We have not won in five games. I just hope on, I just hope that Sunderland don't bottle it and we don't make it to the playoffs. Let's hope we do not. Do we have, if we don't bottle it. Let's hope. No, no, exactly. Let's hope we don't bottle it. But if we do bottle it, it might be like these lagers. That doesn't make any sense. I know. I don't even know what I'm talking about half the time. I'm round the bend. And also, thank you for the 13,000 subscribers absolutely buzzing at this moment in time it's 13,070 it's gone absolutely mental this channel over the last couple of weeks and it's all down to you thank you so much and for the 13,000 subscribers i am going to sing you my jermaine defoe song you know it's me jermaine defoe song i hopefully he'll come off the bench tomorrow night and score the winning goal against burton the winning goal to make it 3-1 <laughs> here we go <clears throat> Some of you have heard it before on my live stream. Everyone's seen him here before. It's the Three Lions song, so we'll start again. So I just want to tell you that's a Three Lions song. Everyone's seen him here before. We've seen the goals he scored. And we know we want more. Remember when he walked on the pitch and the volley was bliss with Fletcher's assist. The mags were crying, defaults on your shirt. When he scores, we're screaming. We've had many years of hurt, but it never stops me dreaming. That's why I feel we are going to win tomorrow night against Burton. Yes, you know, after a game of football, you're all down, you're all out, and you're depressed. You go to bed, you wake up the next day, and you start believing again. And by the time match day comes round, you cannot wait to see Sunderland play. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for the. 13,000 subscribers. I'm on my way to 14,000 now. Take care. God bless me. God go with you. And what do I do with these bad boys? Do I drink one or do I not? And just keep them all bottled up. I don't like keeping my feelings bottled. You know about me and my feelings. I never keep my feelings all bottled up. I let me emotions out. Take care. God bless. And we'll see you tomorrow night for the vlog against Burton. Woo! He's coming home, he's coming, Defoe's coming home, he's coming home, he's coming home, he's coming, Defoe's coming home.